All right, I've got a very simple add-on that I put together, and it's just called Damage123. Uh, okay, so this add-on, you can just take any mesh object. Oh, and I'm going to put this on my Patreon, but all you have to do is join up. It'll be uh, the free tier. Everybody can have this add-on, but there'll be some exciting things come along. I do offer plenty of free add-ons, and some node groups are going to be coming. I'm working on some different things. Uh, so come pick up this add-on on Patreon. So just go ahead and click Damage It, and it's going to add some interesting procedural damage. Here on the add-on, you'll just have a few of the main controls, different things you're going to need. You have Sub-D. Uh, be very careful with that, of course. And then you'll be able to scale on the um, add-on. You kind of play around with how this looks probably a good idea to hold down shift while you do that or just move it like one little click in increments so that way you don't lock anything up now in a nice neat package down here you'll have a geometry nodes add-on uh, excuse me a geometry nodes modifier called one two three damage and then it'll be under the group do damage so you'll have this you could change the voxel amount you can change the damage scale if you wish and kind of have that object eat back on itself. It's pretty decent. Uh, you can change, like I so said, these are sub D levels, and then there's another value here. Um, it's funny, I don't remember this one. Okay, yeah, so this one just kind of melts this side off just a little bit. No big deal. And you can kind of change that back, it just melts the sides. Uh, I'm going to keep that value to zero. It's kind of a balance if you will. So you can play with that if you want. You don't have to mess with that one. Then if you've got your noise, and I'm just holding down shift as I do this, so that way I can get some uh, variations that are a little bit more controlled. Uh, the exterior bandwidth wouldn't mess with that. The weight, you don't have to mess with that. And then the max point count would just be like an over limit. Let's just say you were in here and you wanted to put in a whole lot of voxels. Uh, okay, so that actually did work, but let's just say I want to put in 500 because I'm getting a little crazy and it's going to tell you voxel over limit, so you're going to have to go back. So this, you know, it's a crash proof to a point. Now let's see if 200 will work. But it's 30,000 points. You can change this so you can make it crash. Yeah, see, so it's not working too good there, but... 50 is where it's going to come in or something like that and then you can just grab this add-on and jump over to the patreon link that'll be right there in the description and from here we could you can come over you'll see there'll be a little bit of a, a texture built up on that already and we'll just delete that one and yeah, let's bring the cursor back you can throw in any mesh object you wish and just click damage it and it's going to give it some nice damage you can work with that one get got a little bit more beat up uh, but if you throw in cube or anything else and just click damage it you'll get all this nice damage uh, you may run into areas where it looks like the shading is just a little bit rough uh, but you can click well maybe not one sub d there but you can change the scale and clean everything up and so these are the three main controls you'll actually need uh, for the varying different types of mesh objects but anyways go ahead and smash the subscribe smash the like jump over to patreon this will be a, a link directly to patreon so you guys can pick this up it'll be free and enjoy it and then you'll have some different updates as i create different add-ons see you guys in the next one